Who had the most embarrassing nickname and why? My high school chemistry teacher, Mr. Davidson, earned the name Toxic Tommy after a lab experiment gone wrong, turned his hair permanently green, and made him smell like rotten eggs for an entire semester. It started during our unit on chemical reactions. Mr. Davidson was demonstrating how to properly mix sulfur compounds when he knocked over a beaker with his elbow. The mixture splashed all over his head and shoulders before anyone could react. At first, we thought it was just a minor spill. Mr. Davidson rinsed off in the emergency shower and seemed fine. But over the next few days, his brown hair started turning this weird greenish color that got darker every day. By week two, his hair was full-on Hulk green. He tried everything, special shampoos, hair dye, even bleach. Nothing worked. Apparently, the sulfur had created some kind of permanent chemical bond with his hair follicles, but the hair was just the beginning. The real problem was the smell. Mr. Davidson started reeking like rotten eggs mixed with sewage. It was so bad that students in the hallway could tell when he was coming from three classrooms away. The janitor had to open all the windows in his room and bring in industrial fans. Someone started calling him Toxic Tommy, and it spread through the school like wildfire. Even other teachers started using it, though they tried to whisper it behind his back. The poor guy became a walking science experiment. Students would hold their breath when passing his classroom. The cafeteria ladies made him eat lunch outside. Even the principal started meeting with him in the parking lot instead of his office. Mr. Davidson tried to power through it with humor. He started wearing a sign that said, Caution chemical hazard, and would joke about being a real-life superhero, but you could tell he was mortified. The worst part was parent-teacher conferences. Parents would literally gag when they walked into his classroom. One mom brought her own gas mask as a joke. Mr. Davidson had to start meeting parents in the gymnasium with all the doors open. The smell got so bad that parents started complaining. The school board had to hold an emergency meeting about whether to put him on temporary leave. The local news even picked up the story. Teacher's chemical mishap creates classroom crisis. Meanwhile, Mr. I, Davidson's dating life completely disappeared. He told us his girlfriend broke up with him because she couldn't handle the smell. Even his own dog started avoiding him. The breaking point came when the fire department showed up during one of his classes. Someone had called in a gas leak, thinking there was a chemical emergency. The firefighters had to evacuate the entire science wing before realizing the toxic fumes were just Mr. Davidson. That's when the janitor, Mr. A. Rodriguez became a hero. He'd worked at a chemical plant before teaching and recognized what had happened. Turns out Mr. Davidson needed to soak in a specific type of neutralizing solution for hours to break down the chemical compounds. After three treatments at Mr. Rodriguez's house, the smell finally started fading, but the green hair took six months to grow out completely. The nickname stuck, though. Even at his retirement party ten years later, someone made a cake shaped like a test tube with Happy Retirement Toxic Tommy, written in green frosting. Mr. Davidson kept the cake topper on his desk until he retired. He said it reminded him that even the worst disasters can become the best stories and that chemistry always finds a way to surprise you. He also said it taught him to always wear safety goggles, even during simple demonstrations.